What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about math and chemistry and how to deal with math and chemistry questions, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. This video I selected this trigonometric equation which is 4 sine squared theta minus 1 equals to 0 and we need to solve it for theta when theta is between 0 and 2 pi. So the first thing I need to solve it this quadratic equation. So we have 4 sine squared theta. I bring this negative 1 to the right side. It's going to be 1. Therefore, sine squared theta will be when you divide both sides by 4, it's going to be 1 over 4. Then you find out the square root of both sides which is going to be plus minus, the answer will be sine theta because the square root of sine squared is going to be just sine theta and here we have plus minus square root of 1 over 4 which is going to be plus minus 1 over 2. So one answer is going to be sine theta equals to 1 over 2 and one answer is going to be sine theta equals to negative 1 over 2. So now we need to find out what kind of theta values make sine theta equals to 1 over 2 and what kind of theta values make sine theta equals to negative half. So sine is positive in quadrant 1 and 2 and sine is negative in quadrant 3 and 4. So these two is going to be the answer to the first one and these two is going to be the answer to the second one. So which will be, this one is going to be theta, this one is going to be pi minus theta, quadrant 2, quadrant 3 is going to be pi plus theta, and here we have 2 pi minus theta. So that's how you find out the relationship between different angles, different quadrants. So theta, we know sine pi over 6 is 1 over 2, based on this special angles or special triangles so sine pi over 6 or sine of 30 degrees is going to be one half so the other answer for the first one is going to be pi minus theta which is going to be pi minus pi over 6 which will be 6 pi minus pi which is 5 pi over 6 which is going to be equivalent to 150 degrees. 30 degrees, 150 degrees. Now for the second part, which is negative half, we're going to have pi plus theta and 2 pi minus theta. So pi plus pi over 6, and here we have 2 pi minus pi over 6. So here, when you do common denominator, it's going to be 7 pi over 6, and here we will have 11 pi over 6 which this one is going to be equivalent to 210 degrees and this one is going to be equivalent to 330 degrees so these four answers is going to be the answer to this question pi over 6 5 pi over 6 7 pi over 6 11 pi over 6 these are the final answer i will leave some related playlists in the description. If you need extra help or extra practice question, you can take a look to the description. If you found this video useful, please like it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can have access to many other videos regarding math and chemistry. Thank you for watching and have a great day.